Hello Pentesters, this is Puneet Darji back again with another CV video and in this video we are going to talk about the recent security vulnerability in JetBrains team city. In February 2024, Rapid7's vulnerability research team uncovered two critical vulnerabilities affecting JetBrains team city CICD server. So first uh, we have CV 2024-27198. This CV vulnerability is an authentication bypass issue in a web component of TeamCity. It arises from an alternative path problem. So what is alternative path problem? It means an attacker can take an alternative path to gain restricted functionality or sensitive resources without proper authentication. This uh, severity is 9.8 critical based on CVSS scale. Next uh, we have uh, CV 2020 uh, This is one also uh, authentication bypass, but it seems uh, from the path traverser issue. So its uh, CVSS score is 7.3. It is considered as a high vulnerability. Let's understand the requirement to perform the attack. So first is the requirement an unauthenticated resource that generates a 404 response. This can be achieved by requesting a non-existing resource such as Puneet as you can see in the example. Second is a pass an HTTP query parameter named JSP containing the value of authenticated URI path. This can be achieved by appending an HTTP query string such as question mark JSP is equals to authenticated URI path. And lastly ensure the arbitrary URI path ends with the dot JSP. This can be achieved by appending an HTTP path parameter segment uh, like a semicolon dot JSP. And here you can see the entire payload. Puneet question mark uh, JSP is equals to authenticated endpoint semicolon dot JSP. So this is the uh, payload that you can use during the attack. So I have set up on my local machine. So as you can see version 2023.05.3. So first let me pass the authenticated endpoint. So here I am passing the app slash rest slash server. And as you can see it is uh, redirecting me on the login page. Now let's uh, uh, find uh, or create the 404 response. So here I am passing the Puneet parameter and it's giving the 404. Now let's pass the HTTP query parameter with the question mark JSP is equals to authenticated endpoint. So here I am passing the app slash rest slash server. And here you can see we have the multiple endpoints. And uh, from this endpoint, I am going to use the user endpoint. Let me open in new tab and uh, just copy the rest slash users. And uh, let me pass. As you can see over here, only one user is there, admin user. Now I'm going to create uh, one more user without authentication and give the role administration. So system admin, the role name is system admin I am going to uh, give. So username is Puneet Darji. Password I am passing Puneet Darji. And uh, the email ID, the SecOps group. And uh, this is the uh, role ID system admin. So this is the uh, vulnerable endpoint. Now let's uh, check whether our user is created or not. So here just a refresh and here we go. So we get the Puneet uh, Darji user created. Now let's log in with the uh, Puneet Darji. So here Puneet Darji and pass the Puneet Darji as a password. And boom. So this is all about the vulnerability. So uh, we have created unauthenticated user as well as an administrator. So this is all about the vulnerability. 
Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you like, then share with your infosec friends and subscribe our channel. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.